Hello, this is Tom Rasmussen with Interval Telephone. And today we're going to be doing a little demonstration on how to configure a static IP address in a Zizel 1432B101 VDSL modem router. To start this process, we'll need to launch a web browser. You can use any web browser available to you, whether it's Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, uh, Apple Safari, Internet Explorer, uh, but for our presentation today, I'm going to go ahead and use Mozilla Firefox. So once you have Mozilla Firefox or your internet browser loaded, we'll want to go to the IP address of your device. The local IP address for your device is going to be 192.168.1.1. Once you have that entered into your address bar, go ahead and hit the enter or return key on your keyboard, and that will bring us to a prompt to log into the modem. The username that you will want to use on your device will be a username of user, and the password for that is all in lowercase, user1234. Once you have those entered, go ahead and click on log in. And once this completes the login process, it's going to give us a hello user splash page and to tell you how many number of failed attempts there may have been on the device. Uh, this is just an informational screen, so we can continue from here. Okay, and at the bottom of our screen, you'll notice an error. It says it's not connected to the internet. I actually don't physically have this connected to a internet connection at this time. If you're trying to configure a static IP address on here, you may see the same exact error. We can go ahead and just click on OK for that for on that for right now. To begin configuring a static IP address on your router, at the bottom of the screen, we want to locate network settings. And at the top of this menu, we will want to click on broadband. Once on the broadband page, you're going to see the broadband information in the middle here. At the very end of this line, looks like a little piece of paper with a pencil on it. It's the edit option. We will want to click on that. This will give you the WAN configuration edit screen. And if you scroll down just a little ways, you're going to see IP address. Here, we're going to want to specify instead of obtain an IP address automatically, that we want to use a static IP address. So we'll move the radio button down to static IP address. And now we'll need to specify what IP address we're going to use for our connection. Next, you'll want to specify the subnet mask. And after that, the default gateway for the network that you're on. If you've signed up for a static IP address, all of this information will be provided to you per your request of a static IP. The next step that we'll need to do is to actually configure the DNS server settings. Uh, when you move to a static IP address, you have to go in and manually assign the DNS servers as well. That's located just a little bit further down on this WAN configuration edit screen. As you can see, it's already changed from dynamic to, uh, to static uh, for us, so let's go ahead and put in those addresses. Okay, now that we have the DNS servers entered into the DNS server section for WAN configuration, all we need to do is simply apply. We'll get this little loading screen here for a moment. 
and then screen refreshed. After that, we want to do a reboot on the device. And once that's completed, it'll come back to the login screen. And as you can see here now, we are back to the login screen. On the front LED panel of your Zyzel modem, you should see a, now a green globe for indicating that the internet is now connected. Um, as I stated earlier, I don't have this physically connected to an internet connection at this time. So if I was to actually log back into the modem with the credentials of user and password of user1234, it would actually show the WAN connection or internet connection is now up on this network map. And that's all there is to configuring a static IP address on a Zyzel 1432B101. Thank you and have a wonderful day.